yeah, the milk is a, so to say, the keyword in my novel, and uh, the, mm, the title of the novel in Latvian is Mother's Milk, Mate Spiens. But when my uh, English publisher, Maike, asked me to change the title, and I'm very thankful to her that I did it, so, uh, to, to the Soviet milk. I just, you know, now I'm thinking that it is right, because uh, this poisoned milk, uh, uh, it is not only the poisoned milk of the mother who doesn't want to give her milk to her child, but it's but it is also this poisoned milk or this milk what we we could not drink our homeland milk because we lost our homeland and we were occupied and we were under completely oppressive regime. So. And then Soviet milk sounds kind of, uh, I think it sounds very powerful. So, uh, you know, Americans uh, used to say that it's based on true story. I'm not hiding that uh, very much, that the Soviet milk is very much autobiographical novel. So there are so many facts who are who uh, I I, uh, I remember these facts from my exactly. childhood, from from my youth, and I used also the real stories of my family, of my mom, my grandmother. You use uh, the autobiographical fact facts, but you also you you somehow uh, somehow fictionize um, all these facts. I mean, that was for me, the, uh, the writing of the Soviet milk was also a, a kind of a psychotherapy because I was remembering real facts and then, you know, how writing is and you, you're taking the real facts and then your, your fantasy or your uh, creativity starts to work and you are putting these facts maybe not in a, not in a real situation and that, that's how it worked. So. But uh, but it is based on a um, a very um, authentic authentic history of my family and also authentic history of Latvia. When I was writing, so I was like, you know, uh, I, I was like having flashbacks being in these places in in Riga where where I lived when I was as a teenager. So. And even, but you know uh, what I did, because of course there are some streets, some houses, they still exist. I went there after I wrote the novel, and then I, you know, I, I really got that feeling that your imagination, or your, um, uh, um, or your power to be in these places in your imagination, is. Uh, is it's the same as in in reality so because when i went to these places i just i realized that i i was there you know two or three months ago writing my novel and it was so alive and that that was amazing um it was really hard to write this book when I was writing the novel, I was, you know, yes, sometimes I was crying because I thought, oh, and, but I think it's, I mean, it's nothing wrong with that because if you cry, you just, you, you, some kind, uh, in a, some way, you, you clean yourself. Catharsis. That's what I had uh, writing this novel. But afterwards, it was, I mean, in the first uh, uh, moment, it was kind of a relief that I told the story. But then start, started all this feedback. And it's also not easy to handle. <laughs> because uh, uh, you need to, again, retell the stories. You need to, to talk to readers. And you know what, um, what I realized? For me, it's much more easier to speak about Soviet milk in English than in Latvian. Because um, in Latvian language, I have really this uh, mother's-daughter's relationship. In English, I, I have a distance a little bit, because it's my, it, it, it is not my native language. 
and I can formulate and I can um, give uh, answers better uh, the, the, to the questions about this book as, as in Latvian, because in Latvian I'm getting so emotional sometimes, still, still. And uh, of course it's now uh, very interesting to know what the readers in Italia, um, England, uh, because the book is coming out also about in now about in ten languages. So, how uh, what will be the, their perception of the book? Neipaši garis neīsis ar beigu sāpēm, kas atkārtojas katras piecas minūtes. Mana māte dzemdēja 25 gadu vecumā. Tātad jauna un veselīga, kas gan kā noskaidrojās vēlāk īsti neatbildu patiesībai. Bet es atceros, vai varbūt iztēlojos oktobra zeltājuma maigo rēnumu, kas mīs ar garā tumsas laika priekš no jautām. Tāds robežu mēnesis, vismaz šajā klimatiskajā joslā, kur mainās gada laiki un rudens pamazām pāriet ziemā.